Good evening. Today is Tuesday, September 10th. This is Tuesday after Trinity 12. Evening prayer using the 1928 Book of Common Prayer. And this is a ministry of Corpus Christi Anglican Church in Rogers, Arkansas. And we'll begin in just a moment. This is evening prayer using the 1928 Click of Common Prayer. Today is September 10th, Tuesday after Trinity 12. And this is a ministry of Corpus Christi Anglican Church of Rogers, Arkansas. And we'll begin in just a moment. Let us begin. The Lord be with you. Let my prayer be set forth in thy sight as the incense, and let the lifting up of my hands be an evening sacrifice. O oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth stand in awe of him. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be always acceptable in thy sight. O oh, Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. Let us humbly confess our sins unto Almighty God, praying together the general confession. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done. And we have done those things which we ought not to have done, and there is no health in us. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us miserable offenders. Spare thou those, O God, who confess their faults. Restore thou those who are penitent, according to thy promises declared unto mankind in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous and sober life to the glory of thy holy name amen the almighty and merciful lord grant you absolution and remission of all your sins true repentance amendment of life and the grace and consolation of his holy spirit amen praying together the lord's prayer our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, open now our lips and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. The psalm reading for this evening is Psalm 116. Psalm 116. My delight is in the Lord, because he hath heard the voice of my prayer. 
because he hath inclined his ear unto me. Therefore will I call upon him as long as I live. The snares of death compassed me round about. The pains of hell got hold upon me. I found trouble and heaviness. Then I called upon the name of the Lord. O Lord, I beseech thee, deliver my soul. Gracious is the Lord and righteous. Yea, our God is merciful. The Lord preserveth the simple. I was in misery, and he helped me. Turn again then unto thy rest, O my soul, for the Lord hath rewarded thee. And why? Thou hast delivered my soul from death, mine eyes from tears, and my feet from falling. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. I believed, and therefore will I speak. But I was sore troubled. I said in my haste, All men are liars. What reward shall I give unto the Lord for all the benefits that he hath done unto me? I will receive the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows now in the presence of all his people. Right dear in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. Behold, O Lord, how that I am thy servant. I am thy servant and the son of thine handmaid. Thou hast broken my bonds in sundry. I will offer to thee the sacrifice of thanksgiving and will call upon the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows unto the Lord in the sight of all his people, in the courts of the Lord's house, even in the midst of thee, O Jerusalem. Praise the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first lesson for this evening is from the third chapter of Zephaniah beginning in verse 1 and ending in verse 8. Woe to her that is filthy and polluted! To the oppressing city she obeyed not the voice, she received not correction, she trusted not in the Lord, she drew near, not near to her God. Her princes within her are roaring lions, her judges are evening wolves. They gnaw not the bones till the mar to the marrow. Her prophets are light and treacherous persons. Her priests have polluted the sanctuary. They have done violence to the law. The just, just Lord is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Every morning doth he bring his judgment to light. He faileth not, but the unjust knoweth no shame. I have cut off the nations. Their towers are desolate. I made their streets waste that none passeth by. Their cities are destroyed, so that there is no man, that there is none inhabitant. I said, Surely that will fear me, that will receive instruction, so their dwelling should not be cut off. Howsoever I punished them, but they rose early and corrupted all their doings. Therefore wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations, that I may assemble the kingdom. Pour upon them mine indignation, even all my fierce anger, for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. Here ends the first lesson. Thanks be to God. Saying together the Magnificat. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior, for he hath regarded the lowliness of his handmaid. For behold, from henceforth, all generations shall call me blessed. For he that is mighty hath magnified me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on them that fear him throughout all generations. He hath showed strength with his arm. He hath scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He hath put down the mighty from their seat, and hath exalted the humble and meek. He hath filled the hungry with good things and the rich he hath sent empty away. He, remembering his mercy, hath hope in his servant Israel, as he promised to our forefathers, Abraham and his seed forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The second lesson is from the 13th chapter of Romans, beginning in verse 1. 
Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no power but of God. The powers that be are ordained of God. Whosoever therefore resisteth the power, resisteth the ordinance of God. And they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. For rulers are not a terror to good works, but to the evil. Wilt thou then not be afraid of the power? Do that which is good, and thou shalt have praise of the same. For he is the minister of God to thee for good. But if thou do that which is evil, be afraid, for he beareth not the sword in vain. For he is the minister of God, a revenger to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. Wherefore ye must needs be subject, not only for wrath, but also for conscience sake. For for this cause pay ye tribute. Also, for they are God's ministers, attending continually upon this very thing. Render therefore to all their dues, tribute to whom tribute is due, custom to whom custom, fear to whom fear, honor to whom honor. Owe no man anything but to love one another. For he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law. For this thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness, thou shalt not covet. And if there be any other commandment, it is briefly comprehended in this saying, namely, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Love worketh no ill to his neighbor. Therefore love is the fulfilling of the law. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness, and let us put on the armor of light. Let us walk honestly as in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envy. But put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ, and make not provision for the flesh, to fulfill the lust thereof. Here ends the second lesson. Thanks be to God. Saying together the Nunc Dimittis. Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace, according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And now let us renew and affirm our faith together by stating the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried, he descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the state, and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. Endue thy ministers with righteousness, and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord. For it is Thou, Lord, only that makest us dwell in safety. O God, may clean our hearts within us, and take not Thy Holy Spirit from us. The Collect for the Twelfth Sunday after Trinity Almighty and everlasting God, who art always more ready to hear than we to pray, and art wont to give more than either we desire or deserve, pour down upon us the abundance of Thy mercy, Forgiving us those things whereof our conscience is afraid, and giving us 
those good things which we are not worthy to ask, but through the merits and mediation of Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord. Amen. The Collect for Peace. O God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works do proceed, give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments, and also that by thee, we being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness, through the merits of Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen. A Collect for Aid Against Perils Lighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy, defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of thy only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. A prayer for the President of the United States and all in civil authority. Almighty God, whose kingdom is everlasting and power infinite, have mercy upon this whole land. And so rule the hearts of thy servants, the President of the United States, Donald Trump, the governors of these states and all others in authority, that they, knowing whose ministers they are, may above all things seek thy honor and glory, and that we and all the people duly considering whose authority they bear may faithfully and obediently honor them, according to thy blessed word and ordinance, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who with thee and the Holy Ghost liveth and reigneth ever one God, world without end. Amen. A prayer for the bishop of our diocese. O God, the pastor and ruler of thy faithful servants, look down in thy mercy upon thy servant Leo Michael, our bishop, to whom thou hast given charge over this diocese. Evermore guide, defend, comfort, and save him, and grant that he with the flock committed to his charge may attain everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A prayer for all the clergy. Almighty and everlasting God, from whom cometh every good and perfect gift, send down upon our bishops and other clergy and upon the congregations committed to their charge the healthful spirit of thy grace, and that they may truly please thee. Pour upon them the continual dew of thy blessing. Grant this, O Lord, for the honor of our advocate and mediator, Jesus Christ. Amen for the conversion of sinners. O Almighty God, we beseech thee to hear our prayers for all such as sin against thee, or neglect to serve thee, that thou wouldst bestow upon them true contrition and an earnest desire to devote themselves to thy holy service. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A prayer for all conditions of mankind. O God, the creator and preserver of all mankind, we humbly beseech thee for all source and conditions of men, that thou wouldst be pleased to make thy ways known unto them, thy saving help unto all nations. More especially we pray for thy holy church universal, that it may be so guided and governed by thy good spirit, that all who profess and call themselves Christians may be led into the way of truth and hold the faith and unity of spirit, in the bond of peace and in righteousness of life. Finally, we commend to thy fatherly goodness all those who are any ways afflicted or distressed, in mind, body, or estate. And I invite you to state your own intentions at this time. I especially pray for those of ill health, and I pray for Tamara, that you continue to give her grace in her body, healing, and strength. I pray for all who are in need of health and of relief, and I especially pray also for all Christians around the world who are suffering persecution for the faith. Pray you protect them with your divine mercy. I pray that their efforts would be rewarded. And I pray especially that your church may dwell in peace. I pray for all of our friends and families, our acquaintances, those of the members of our parents.
Paris churches, that you would stand with them, give them strength, and give them hope, that it may please thee to comfort and relieve them, according to their several necessities, giving them patience out of their sufferings and a happy issue out of all their afflictions. And this we beg for Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. Praying together the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, thine unworthy servants, do give thee most humble and hearty thanks for all thy goodness and loving kindness to us and to all men. We bless thee for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for thine inestimable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we beseech thee, give us that due sense of all thy mercies, that our hearts may be unfeignedly thankful, and that we show forth thy praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to thy service, and walking before thee in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. Almighty God, who has given us grace at this time, with one accord to make our common supplications unto thee, and dost promise that when two or three are gathered together in thy name, thou wilt grant their request. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants, as may be most expedient for them, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come, life everlasting. Amen. Praying together, the Angelus. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Ghost. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. We beseech thee, O Lord, pour thy grace into our hearts, that as we have known the incarnation of thy Son, Jesus Christ, by the message of an angel, so by his cross and passion, we may be brought unto the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. Here ends the order for evening prayer. Thanks be to God. God bless you all and have a blessed night.